Bannister Creek Primary was a winner in our sustainability classroom competition and it was in no small part due to the enormous effort placed by the teachers here, led by the Herculean effort from Andrew McCarthy. Andrew teaches science and his practical approach to explaining the mysteries of Mother Nature made this school a deserving winner. Andrew, a year down the path, the garden's looking fantastic. How's it working for you? Oh look Trevor, it's just been brilliant. As a learning tool for science, it's been fantastic. We have all year groups and all classes involved and really the kids are managing the gardens themselves now. We have a, a, a class of the week that comes out and they're responsible for everything in the gardens. They do the chickens, collect the eggs, feed the chickens, clean the chicken pen out, weed the garden, collect any of the, the veggies that need uh, picking and take them down to the canteen. We also have um, all the organic waste at our lunch times um, get collected and they get put into our compost and worm farms as well. And we've just had a big planting with our garden club and all of the compost got used for that. It's just been brilliant. I reckon one of the most important messages the chicken area has is about heritage breeds. And what most people don't realise is that when you look at Isa Browns and Highlights, they are about well, 99 per cent of the egg production these days. So for kids to come in contact with some of these original heritage varieties, they're not just learning about them, but they're obviously learning about biodiversity and its importance as well. How have the chickens gone for you? The chickens have been fantastic, and you're right, the kids have been fascinated by the different chickens and they're always... The, the little kids particularly, what are they, what are they? We get about two dozen eggs a week, all different varieties, blue, green, spotted, browns, and they all go to our canteen and get used in the cooking. So today they would have made about five dozen pikelets that had our eggs in. And uh, yeah, it's been really interesting to see um, the development of these different types of chickens and the different behaviours too. Another food production concept we added was the aquaponic systems. Again, an opportunity to learn about the relationship between plants, bacteria and fish in a system that allows the school to grow edible fish and crustacean species. It's been a pretty steep learning curve, Trevor, yeah. but we, we finally sort of got on top of it and with a bit of help from Aquaponics WA, yeah. we have got some silver perch, some yabbies and some bigger silver perch and we keep one tank free so we can rotate through and that, that way we're able to keep all our tanks clean. The, the hydroponic part of it has just been fantastic, getting massive crops of everything. Yep. Those chives, cut them down two weeks ago, already grown back. We were getting dozens of strawberries a day. Wow. Second lot of lettuce gone in. That all gets used in the canteen as well. We did get some trout, but yep. again, only three, but they were all quite big. So it's been very educational. This garden is growing really well. With time, this is going to continue to be an amazing area for kids to learn in.